Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel Virgo. It's the Nutcase, Casey Nicole, and I'm back again with the shenanigans here on the Nutcase Network, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. This is your all-in-one reading where we're gonna look at the past, present, and future, near future, of the connection that you are in, the person you're thinking about, the relationship you're in, or the situation that you are dealing with. So remember the messages are general. They may not be for every Virgo out there, so be sure to go with what you know. And remember, time is fluid. It moves like water. It could be past, present, or future energy. Basically, let's be grown about it. Let's be adults about it, because I'm not going to argue no more about who's who and what's what, because y'all know your own life. Okay, thank you to everyone who's already subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate y'all's love and support, family. I really do. All of your donations, your likes, your shares, your subscribes, whether they be monetarily or energetically, I really appreciate you guys, okay? And if you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, you guys, so you can be caught up on all my shenanigans. Turn on post notifications too, okay? Be sure to check out your Virgo playlist, okay? And check out any other videos that may interest you for sure. All right, so what's going on with my Virgos? This is about the person who's on your mind, who you're currently dealing with, the person who's most prevalently in your energy, you're in a relationship with, or a situationship with Virgo, okay? And I'm going to be picking the cards. Usually, if they, if the tension comes, I'm picking it up. Guardian Angels, what is my Virgo's current energy towards the person on their mind, the relationship that they're in, the situation that they're dealing with? Okay, Triumph, the Chariot, ha. Cancer energy. So you could be dealing with a cancer or you could have cancer in your chart. Ooh, throat chakra at the bottom, number five. Okay. So I feel like there's a lot of communication going on or you want to speak up to this person about something. Um, I feel like you want to talk to this person about how the relationship can be more successful, Virgo. Or you want to just communicate that you're ready to move on. It could be a number of different things. We're going to go deeper into this. But this triumph card is the chariot, which could mean that you guys are moving in with someone. You want to talk about moving in with someone. You want to talk about the relationship moving forward, being victorious, how it's going to work out for both of you. I really feel like that's kind of what's going on here with this triumph card. Let me see. Let me go ahead and get my Island Time Wellness Love Oracles. Guardian Angels, what else is going on in this relationship dynamic for Virgo and the person who is on their mind? So, you guys, this could be mutual energy with these cards I'm about to pull and the Romance Angels that I'm going to pull after this. Oh, and I keep forgetting for everybody. I'm going to do a yes or no question from my yes or no bag later at the end of the video. So, be sure to stay tuned for that and get your questions ready. Okay, what is this relationship dynamic, Guardian Angels? Please provide me more information for my Virgos and the relationship that they're dealing with. What is the dynamic between these two? What is currently going on in the relationship for my Virgos and the person who's on their mind, Guardian Angels? What is this relationship dynamic? Please give me more information. Thank you, Guardian Angels. Thank you, Archangel, Spirit Guides, Ancestors. Thank you, God, for everything that you do. What is currently going on between my Virgos and the person who's on their mind? Okay, mirror. Ooh, mirroring each other. Self-image relationship reflects our wounds. Introspection. Okay, so that's why I feel like maybe you want to talk about how this relationship could be more successful, Virgo, because this is the only energy really in this reading that is all your energy. And then we're going to be doing the person on your mind's intentions for you later on, which is all their energy. So that's why I say y'all be grown. Y'all know you don't know what's what be strong be strong okay talking see throw shot up that's why i said all in one because i also want to show i know i pull a lot of cards and i just saw 414 so i know i pull a lot of cards most of the time but y'all i definitely want to explore my um proficiency and see if i can just read y'all shit off one card so y'all be sure to let me know you know in the comments about that but Talking, interested, conversing more, awaiting message arrives, text, call, email, hovering. So I feel like you guys are definitely doing a lot of talking. I feel like this is somebody who you could be in a relationship with. Um, okay, the boat card also came out. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Hmm. 
Wow. So for that card to come out, remember when I was talking about the chariot, which could be moving on, I did get the vibe that Virgo, what I feel is that you're talking with this person, you're using your throat chakra and you're trying to clarify what this relationship is. Where is it going to go? I feel like you're mirroring this person in terms of the effort that they give is what you're going to give. Um, I wanted to just call you cancer again. Oh my God. So I feel like what could be happening here, Virgo, is that somebody who you're dealing with is not putting pulling their weight, um, doing their fair share. Someone is not either treating you right or get, they're not giving you what you need. And I feel like you're telling this person that in order to move forward with them, in order to be with them, in order for this relationship to continue or progress, we need to talk more, we need to communicate more, or there's some things that I need from you that I have to tell you that I need that you're not giving me. Um, I feel like you're not giving any more into this with the mirroring card. You're basically, Virgo, going to do what they do until they're ready to open up and talk or until you guys can converse about what you need in order to move forward. Now, there could also be a Virgo out here who is talking to an ex or someone who they've broken it off with, someone who they've moved on from. Maybe y'all are just talking to receive closure. I don't think it's going to go any further than that, if that's the case. Um, so the two categories are the Virgo that's in a relationship, talking about what they need to progress the relationship or for the relationship to move forward without a breakup. And a Virgo who has already broken up with someone or not talking to them, who is basically just offering a conversation or being offered a conversation that is only meant to provide closure to whatever has happened. Okay, coffee cup is here. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. So maybe you guys are just deciding to be friends. Wow, but engagement rings at the back. Weird. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. What I just thought about is, Virgo, I feel like those of you who are in a relationship, it's become stagnant. And you're telling this person that in order to move forward, you need to be married. Like, it's been too long. Like, there needs to be an engagement here or some type of forward movement progression. And I feel like you're really casually just trying to bring it up. I don't feel like you're trying to, like, bombard this person. But you're also not going to be giving any more into this if this person does not progress the relationship with you. So let's see. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Mm, my nose is itching. Okay. My ear was ringing during the Leo reading. Mm. Now my nose is itching. Okay, so what else is going on in this relationship with my Virgos and the person on their mind, Guardian Angels? Please provide me more insight into this situation. What is going on between Virgo and this person? Because I feel like there are two different sets of Virgos here. One Virgo set is actually with the person. One is not. One Virgo set is wanting closure to move on or the person who they broke up with wants closure to move on. And the other Virgo set is trying to communicate what they need in order to move the relationship forward or else they will move on. Okay. So what else is going on with this relationship with my Virgos, Guardian Angels? Trust. Okay. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So Virgo, I feel like you're trying to trust this person or someone is trying to trust you. Maybe they have trust issues, um, but there's a need for both parties to have trust of the other person in order for it to keep going. What else for my Virgos? What else for my Virgos? What else in regards to this relationship dynamic between Virgo and the person on their mind, guardian angels? What else is going on? Okay. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. See, that's what the... And it fell right up under talking. I feel like you're trying to give your relationship a chance. I also feel like this person may be trying as well. I'm going to keep it real. I feel like they're trying. If they're talking to you, they're trying. If y'all are in the relationship, you're trying to move it forward to an engagement or forward movement. I feel like this person is trying. But I feel like they have an issue with positivity. They have an issue with their outlook on life. They may look at things in a negative light and don't. they don't have a lot of trust. True love though. This is the romance of a lifetime. So I feel like 
This is definitely, if you get what you need, Virgo, this is exactly what you want. This is your true love and you just want them to act right. Now, for those of you who are already moved on from someone, I feel like there was an issue with trust here. Somebody may have wanted you, Virgo, to give them a chance because they felt like this was true love or you did. But it just didn't work out that way. Maybe that's the discussion that you guys need to have. But pay attention to the red flags is at the bottom. Ooh, reconciliation is at the back. Blue, blue. Just that quick. Blue, blue. <laughs> okay, that reconciliation be coming in. Man, whenever I see the reconciliation card, it's like I get nauseous. I get nauseous. I mean, some people may definitely want to reconcile. But damn, with all this... All I'm actually glad the card don't even come out as much as it used to. Because it used to come out a lot. I feel like someone wants to reconcile with you, Virgo. Or you want to reconcile with someone else. Like I said, take it how it resonates. Because I'm tired of arguing with y'all. But this is your energy. Either you're wanting to talk about moving forward with somebody. In terms of elevating the relationship. Or you're wanting to talk about moving on from someone. And why you had to move on. And, and trying to, you know get closure or you want to talk about why they moved on from you those are the situations put yourself where you need to go but you a grown adult i'm not gonna argue with nobody so let's see what's going on guardian angels in this relationship please offer me more insight for my virgo so that they can have some clarity in their situation with the person who they are thinking about now so what is the recent past? What, what happened in the recent past between my Virgos and this person? So three of cups. I feel like you guys were doing a lot of drinking, a lot of dating, a lot of dancing, having a good time. But at the same time, there could have been somebody else here who was involved with this three of cups. Let's see. Justice at the back and the king of swords at the bottom. So this definitely could be an air sign that you're dealing with. This definitely could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with or a Libra. Possibly a Taurus, but I feel like it's more so an air sign, a Libra, or an Aquarius. I don't even really feel like this is a Gemini. I feel like it's either Libra or Aquarius. But I feel like in the past, I feel like with these two cards coming out at the bottom of the back, I really at bottom in the back, I really feel like someone was was in an entanglement here. Whether you had this person and you were dealing with someone else, or they had someone else while dealing with you. I feel as if there, I feel like there could have been a lot of dancing, a lot of drinking. Y'all went out on good dates, but I feel like there was a, 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 a nasty undertone of entanglement here. Third party situations that people, you know, maybe couldn't leave behind. Okay. With the justice card, this could have been somebody they were married to, husband, wife, ex-husband, ex-wife, baby mama, baby daddy, common law. Y'all know the drill. Okay. 1303. But there could have been a divorce that took place here. But I feel like, Virgo, someone got cut out of the picture because of extracurricular activities. I cannot, I cannot hide that. I also feel like there was a reconciliation here. With that reconciliation card, just popped back up in my mind. It could have been a situation where y'all were doing very good in the past. Y'all were y'all were dating. Y'all were having fun with this person or they were having fun with you. And then there came the entanglement, the third party. Y'all broke up. Y'all got divorced. But then, you know, maybe y'all got back together. It could be an on again, off again situation. But I feel like there was a, a happy, there were happy times, but there was also some negative undertones in the recent past. So what is the present moment like for my Virgos and the person on their mind? What is the current energy? What is going on presently between these two in the situation or relationship that they are dealing with? Okay, Eight of Swords. So someone's very paranoid here. Someone is in a self-inflicted state of anxiety. Let's put it like that. I feel like it's self-inflicted because they could get out of it. I feel like someone is definitely not trying to express their emotions but they're feeling drained. I feel like they're... Because every time I see this card, it's like it looks like there was a lot of water there. But now it's drained. I feel like someone is very drained in this connection. I feel like their emotions are gone for this person. I feel like someone really doesn't want to see all of the pain, mental pain and conflict that has been inflicted here. Someone is avoiding... So there's some type of avoidance here going on. Where someone doesn't want to accept or realize 
how much hurt has been caused here, how much pain has been caused here, how much confusion is here. Um, there's a lot of anxiety and confusion. There's a lot of pain. And I feel like a conversation is actually the best bet. Wow, here comes the Gemini's magician at the back and the lovers at the bottom. As soon as I said it might not be Gemini, it could damn very well be a Gemini. I really feel like it's more so a Libra or an Aquarius. Maybe they have Gemini and like their moon or rising, something like that, or their Venus sign. But like, I really feel like it's, I really feel like it's a situation here in the current moment where someone is trying to bring this love back together with the lover's card. I feel like someone is trying to manifest this connection. Someone feels like this is a soulmate type of energy or feels like you guys are meant to be together, whether it be you or this person, Virgo. I feel like they're trying to manifest some type of contract here. I feel like this is also speaking about that engagement ring card where someone is trying to manifest a contract, like manifest a, a marriage contract or a marriage license here. But there's something that's there's something that's off because that red flags card indicates that there's something that's not right. There's something that you're missing or there's something that this person is missing. So you know what side you're on. But currently, that could be what is creating the anxiety. There could also be someone here who's being very manipulative or um, avoiding talking about another lover because I really do get like an entanglement vibe here. Somebody's paranoid that the other person is going to continue to cheat on them. That's what I get. And I feel like there's another person, whoever's been doing the cheating... Is trying to manipulate the situation to maybe conceal that they are still, you know, out having other lovers or having other sexual connections with people. And I feel like the other person who's been getting cheated on is paranoid about it. And that's the current energy. So what's the near future of this connection for my Virgos? Dang, I was about to say Libra this time. Cancer, Libra, Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius. What is the near future for my Virgos in this situation with the person who's on their mind, who they're dealing with, guardian angels? What is the near future? What is the near future energy of this connection? Oh my God. I feel like you're trying to make something come together that's not meant to be together or, oh Lord, you're trying to give this relationship a chance after there's been so much mental turmoil and problems. Okay, seven of swords. I'm taking all of those because they didn't want to go back in. Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, King of Cups. Okay, Virgo, I'm going to be honest with you because you got the Seven, Eight, and Nine of Swords. I feel like this is progressing to an ending. Ten of Swords is the only thing that's missing here from this. Wow, get the fuck out of here. And I just was thinking about the Three of Swords. Like, this is a very heartbreaking situation. There's been a lot of betrayal with another three coming up. I feel like there was definitely another person. There was cheating. There were lies. There was deceit here. I feel like there was also some type of... Mm, I don't know if there was theft, but I'm going to be honest with you. There was lying, cheat, and deceit. I know that for damn sure. And I feel like this situation was very heartbreaking for you, Virgo. And I really feel like it was you because I feel like... You're wanting to gain closure to move on or you're wanting to talk about how this relationship has to progress in order for it to work out. I do feel like you are giving your relationship a chance because you feel like it's true love, but you do not trust this person because they have been lying. They have been manipulative. They have been untrustworthy. But I feel like in the near future, unfortunately, I'm going to keep it real with you. Look, the tower card is at the bottom. The, the Knight of Pentacles is at the back and the Tower is at the bottom. I feel like somebody is going to completely stop putting in effort towards the situation and it's going to cause a major change. I feel like there may be a breakup that's coming here if someone does not put in a solid effort to make a change. Do you get what I'm saying? So if someone does not put in or put forth a solid effort to move forward with positive change, then this is going to end. You are going to stop pursuing this person or vice versa. I also feel like soon someone may realize that they may be about to lose you, Virgo, and they could put in this energy. However, in the near future, I don't know how long. I feel like, I don't know. I keep hearing short-lived. So I just want you guys to be mindful that 
if someone, if you, I feel like in the near future, you're going to feel like this person is trying to slip away from you, or you're going to feel like even if they start putting in effort that they are still pulling back in a way, or they, that you feel like maybe they're still being deceitful. You cannot trust them. And I feel like it's going to cause a lot of sleepless nights for you. And there's someone here who is very closed off emotionally. There's someone here who in the near future is definitely, I feel like going to be trying to sneak out of this connection is going to cause the other person a lot of pain, turmoil, sleepless nights, stress, anxiety. And by them not really expressing how they feel or not being true in this connection is going to cause someone to be in a lot of pain period. I, I just, what, I, I can't help it, y'all. I'm not going to lie. Seven, eight, nine. The only thing that we don't have now is the 10, which is an ending, a painful ending, feeling betrayed, feeling stabbed in the back, feeling hurt. You already feel anxious and paranoid. You feel like you can't trust this person. And in the near future, they could definitely do something to where they confirm your suspicions or where they don't do what they say they're going to do. Like maybe you guys are talking about the situation. They, they're they making promises, but they don't follow through in the near future. And they're still very closed off, very cold, uh, very unemotional. Even though you know that they have love for you, they're just still not showing it. And that's not what you need. I mean, I feel like if, if this person is not being real with you, the universe is going to rip the rug out from under this bitch. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to be able to continue whether or not, damn, whether or not you want it to or not. Okay. So the tower, wow. The star, Aquarius, like I said, the moon, Cancer, Pisces, like I said, Aries, possibly Scorpio or Aquarius with the Fool card and the Page of Swords. So I feel like there could definitely be a breakup here. Someone could, I, I feel like something is going to change drastically. Either they're going to try to heal the relationship or you are, but there could still be someone keeping secrets here about maybe wanting to be with someone else, maybe wanting to start over a new beginning or whatever. Someone else that they're watching who they want to be with. That's what I'm getting here is that they're saying that they want to work on things, but they're saying they're going to change, but there's still secrets. I also feel like if you decide not to be with this person, there's going to be a breakup, a change. You're going to be trying to heal Virgo and you're not going to be sure about how to move forward towards this new beginning. But I feel like you're going to realize what you need to do when the time comes. So take it how you want to take it. Take it wherever the fuck y'all are at. <laughs> no, no, no disrespect. No disrespect. But I, I just feel like let's be real. Let's be grown. Let's be grown. Let's be grown about it. What, what, what really is going on in your mind? What do you know that you're doing? But Virgo, I really don't feel like this is you. Like... I, I really don't get the energy that this is you trying to be manipulative. I feel like somebody here is manipulative and they're wanting their cake and to eat it too. And I feel like you just want clarity. You want truth. You want to talk about this. You want the situation to move forward. You want to have clear communication, Virgo. And I really feel like that is your energy. So let's see what's really going on. What's the reason for all this guardian angels? What is behind the scenes? What do we not see? What is the reason or cause? For this situation transpiring the way it is for Virgo and the person on their mind. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Oh, shit. Childish. Childish. Someone is being very childish. So there's a person here who is... That could be that mirroring card, too. I'm being drawn to that mirroring card. My nose is itching like hell. It could be someone who's just being very childish, Virgo. They're just like, oh, if Virgo is not going to open up to me, I'm not going to open up to them. Or... You know, if Virgo don't give me what I want, I'm not going to give Virgo what they want. So somebody's just being very childish here. Yeah, projection, new line of studies at the back, stubborn. Someone is just really like big headed. That's really what I feel. And I feel like they're projecting their energy onto you. And I feel like somebody, okay, new line of study researching occult things. So y'all could be very new to watching tarot or you're studying tarot, or you're studying astrology. You're studying this person's birth chart. Like, why do they act like this? I feel like Virgo, what I get is an energy of someone who wants answers and clarity. And I get an energy of someone who's being manipulative and kind of doing shit out of spite. That's what I'm getting. Let's see what this person's true intentions are towards you, Virgo. Don't forget your yes or no questions. Be sure to get those ready. We only have 
the intentions and two more cards, the intentions, the moonology and the angel answers. And then we're going to answer the questions. So get those red day. Guardian angels, what is the intentions? What are the true intentions of the person that's on my Virgo's mind in regards to this relationship? What are their true intentions towards my Virgos? Okay, one more time. One more time. Okay. What are their true, true intentions, guardian angels, towards my Virgos? What is the person on Virgo's mind? True intentions towards them. What are their true intentions towards my Virgos? Damn, damn, damn. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. So the first one that came out, I really was only going to take one. The first one that came out is the most important, stringing you along, not serious, leading you on, off and on communication, inconsistencies, actions not matching words, misleading. That's how I feel like this person is going to be acting in the near future, Virgo. That's what I was trying to say. Discontent is also flipped over here. So somebody is content with the somebody is content with the situation the way it is. Somebody is not. I feel like someone also does not want to change the 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 dynamic of the relationship because they're content the way it is. They don't want it to change. So if you're the one wanting it to change, this person is gonna be blowing a bunch of smoke up your ass. Like but pure intentions is here. Kindness, thoughtful, considerate, unselfish, benevolent. I'm going to be real with you. Because this person is childish, I feel like they were trying to get this card to come out first and not allow for you to see that they're actually stringing you along. I feel like someone may have good intentions, but they just don't know how to fucking act. Someone, If they're childish, they're just really immature. They may not have a very developed emotional state. But I feel like you had good intentions, Virgo. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so this is you. Virgo, you, you had good intentions, but this person is stringing you along. That's what I feel. Missing you is at the back. Wanting to see you reminiscing, watching your social media, looking at your pictures, reflecting, wanting you back. So that could be what this conversation, this throat chakra is, where you're telling this person about why you moved on, getting closure with that boat card. Someone's missing the other person here. And I feel like, Virgo, if you're the person who left this person, they're missing you. If they left you, you're missing them. But that's their true intentions for you. And if you're with this person, I feel like they feel distance between you guys. And they could definitely be missing you or missing how it used to be. That's what I get as well. So what do my Virgos need to do, Guardian Angels, to get this situation rolling, to get back with this person if they want to be back with this person, or to move forward with their life if they do not want to be with this person? What do they need to be doing here, Guardian Angels? Please provide me some clarity for my Virgos. What do they need to be doing in order to positively move forward, either with or without this person? What do my Virgo? Oh, no, that is way too many. The whole deck just almost flipped out. What do my Virgos need to be doing in order to positively move forward, either with or without this person? What do Virgos need to be doing, guardian angels, to positively move forward? Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon and Taurus. Take that one as well. Why did I flip it back over? Emotions are running high. Super moon. So emotions are running high and I feel like you need a practical plan as to how to talk to this person. Um, if if they're volatile, I, I, don't, I don't feel like, I, I don't feel, like, for most of you, I don't feel like they are, but I, I felt the urge to say this. If they are a volatile individual, Virgo, and they're wanting to figure out why you feel the way you feel, you don't have to talk to them. But I feel like you want to have closure, you want to have clarity, not only for them, but for yourself. But I feel like if they are volatile, be mindful that emotions are running very high. If this person had a tendency to be negative around you or speak negatively towards you, God forbid, put their hands on you, please definitely make a plan as to what you are going to do. Don't let this person come to your house. I don't know why I got that message, but emotions are running very high. And I feel like, 
Oh, Lord. I feel like somebody definitely needs to make a plan as to whether or not they're going to stay in something, like stay in this relationship and try to give it a chance or whether they're going to, you know, allow this person to talk to them. What's at the bottom? Oh, another Taurus. So y'all could be dealing with a Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. So Virgo, what I'm getting is don't really worry about like, I mean, I mean, I know it's probably stressful for sure. I know the current energy is you being very stressed out, but just no prosperity lies ahead. I feel like things are going to change. There's going to be a new cycle. Okay. But you need to make a plan as to how you're going to move forward right now because your emotions are running very high. I feel like don't make rush decisions, Virgo, or don't make decisions. On, why did I just hear don't make decisions on an empty stomach? Maybe you need to sit down and have something to eat and plan what you're going to do to move forward. But whatever you want to do, whether it be stay with this person or not, I feel like your emotions are running very high and you need to really be smart, strategic about what to do now. Okay. Guardian angels. What is the most important angel answer for my Virgos? Communicate clearly. Damn. Damn, talking throat chakra. It's all about communication here. So look for a sign and no need to worry at the back. See, God knows you're worrying. Or I mean the universe, whoever you believe in, honey. They know you're worrying. They know you're stressed out about this and they don't want you to be stressed out. They're, you just need to create a practical plan. Sit down, you know, for a minute and kind of like think this shit out, brainstorm. Wow, I haven't heard brainstorming so long. Why did that pop up in my head? Okay, so let's get your yes or no questions. Y'all get your yes or no questions together. I just saw 3131 on the clock. What is my Virgo's answer to their question? Y'all pause it if you need to. Guardian Angels, what is the most accurate answer to their question? Three, two, one. Yes. Okay, Virgo. So the answer is yes. I hope these messages have helped you guys. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe as always. Stick to the positivity. To <laughs> Stick to the positivity today and every day. Be blessed. And don't let these motherfuckers steal your joy. Okay, Virgo. Bye.